So Caroline, we're here at Adna and your ever-expanding business. And having a walk around, you've got so many do-guard machines, yeah. including your newest Smeg Lave. So why have, you, why have you bought this? So we've invested in this one. It's a twin spindle single turret. Um, the plan was to replace two machines with this one. So this is doing a lot more than the two machines did in the first place. So I was talking to your machinist who was running it and couldn't believe this is actually doing more work than the two lathes you had in before it. Yep. So how come you went for the, the dual spindle lathe this time? Just because you can achieve a lot more from, from that instead of what we had before. Um, more capabilities and uh, quicker times to achieve. And obviously looking around you seem so busy, which is great. We're very busy, yeah. <laughs> which is always a great thing. So I just want to move on because we're actually going to walk now down to your first dual guard machine. Indeed. So can you tell us a little bit about why you went for dual guard and a bit about Adnet itself? So um, dual guard themselves, they seem like a really good company. Uh, you know, you will talk to the, the managing director there. I've spoken to him myself um, and they're just very good to talk to. The customer service is always amazing. Um, so we started with this machine and as you'll see we've got a lot more now. So. And what I like about the Dugard machines is just a little cabinet on the side because you are, you are very organised. Everything's got its place. Yeah. And I think it's great. Yeah. So then moving, moving down you've actually got three Dugard 760s yeah. with two with fourth axis one with a micro lock system. Indeed, yeah. So is that so you can do different work on each machine? Yeah, so we can do small parts, we can do large parts. Um, those are some smaller components, but they tend to, we can go rather big as well. So um, they've got big, big enough beds. Um, they're all the same, the three here, but they achieve different things. So. And having the same machine, does that help with obviously if one of your machines can run one, it can run them all? Exactly, yeah. We normally just got one machinist running all three. Um, we're particularly busy now, so we've got two on them. I think it's great. I think the, the, the key, there seems to be quite a recurring theme here that you're very busy, it which, is. which is great because obviously we know what it's like at the moment. So one thing I just want to ask is you actually bought these just before COVID. We did. So was there a bit of a worry there yes. that you had three brand new machines, uh, sorry, two brand new machines coming and then the pandemic hit? Yeah. This last machine got installed a week before the lockdown, um, the first lockdown, and it did sit still for some time. Um, but, it, you know, we got over that and it's not stopped since, so. And it's great to hear that it never stopped. So, I actually want to move on to, not your newest machine, but the one before it, because you, we've, we've spoke about laves. Yep. We've spoke about millers. Of course. So, so you've now gone for a sliding head machine, which, to me, is that to then give you an overview? You can then do any part now. Yeah. So we, because of the variety of machines we've got, we can. We've got small parts. We've got large parts. We've got turned and milled items. So we can do such a range for people. Um, so it's a, a bit of a one-stop shop, if you will. Um, so we got this um, new sliding head. We've already got one, but we were running out of capacity on it. So we just needed to increase that capacity. So we've got this new one and they're running parts at 30% less time than the, the other machines, so. So that's saving you money, and you, we've seen some of the parts you're doing, which obviously we'll, we'll, the camera will see them, but you, you just won't, they won't look as small as they actually are. You, yeah, they are. You drop them on the carpet and it's gone. Yeah, exactly, yeah, don't drop any. <laughs> yeah, so very, very small bits on the siding head. And I like, like you saying that this, but this, so did you look at, other competitors as well as Dugard before you bought this machine? We did, yeah, we shopped around a bit, um, but I think because we've already built that relationship with Dugard, they were um, they were a good solid company to work with. So, And then obviously, just last question before we finish, all your Dugards have got Fanuc. Yep. Is there a reason, is, it, is that the same reason as before, so the one guy can run anything yep. he needs to? Yeah, exactly, so they've all got Fanuc knowledge, so we know that, you know, everyone can move around the different machines um, and still understand them, so we stick, stick to planet. <laughs>